Welcome back again, friends, um, for another evening, well, evening for me anyway, of uh, working on the Odin product, project, excuse me, um, on the foundations course yet, um, leaving, picking up where I left off last time. Um, down here I did the additional resources and just read through the articles and being a little overachiever, um, one of the things I... Uh, picked up on it was this interesting roadmap that I've seen before um, on a YouTube video, but um, is interesting enough. Goes over all the um, different paths for front end, back end, and DevOps. Um, I found it very interesting. Uh, there's a lot to it, obviously, um, but uh, again, it. I didn't have to look through it too much because I had already seen this before and sunk in. I thought it was interesting that the same thing came up again um, in this in this curriculum. So um, I went to the next lesson and spent a ton of time tonight on motivation and mindset. Um, this is a it was very meaty. It doesn't seem like it because it's not that long of a read. But there is a lot of great articles inside here um, and in the additional resources that need to be consumed and read and understood. And one of the big things I took about took away from it is um, having a uh, growth mindset um, versus <coughs> excuse me versus a fixed mindset and growth mindset where um, where I believe that I can get better at anything that I do with given effort and persistence combining that with the persistence and grit concept um, that is bundled inside the growth mindset basically just not giving up um, when it gets hard when I don't understand something to keep pushing through and like I said in my previous videos seeing all that I've been through already and all that I've come through and and all that I've succeeded with um, will help with that persistence and grit to continu continue on that's one of the several reasons why I'm doing this um, that also talks in this article about teaching it I'm not really um, in teaching mode right now I guess I am a little bit in the kind of vlog version but um, but that's kind of the thought there too is to continually um, set this in with that um, teaching mode if you will um, and then it talks about uh, the focus mode and the diffuse mode focus modes when you're learning reading watching videos and working on projects and diffuse is basically when you're giving your brain a rest sleep uh, you know playing video games whatever hanging out with the family doing things that are outside of the classroom or the coursework outside of the Odin project um, <clears throat> and it talks about what to do when you get stuck um, google it take a break ask for help in the discord the other thing I found really interesting is the managing the study time, particularly when it comes down to um, the pitfalls to avoid. But then the solution here in this first one is um, for procrastination is uh, I'm going to butcher it probably, but Pomodo, P Pomodoro uh, technique um, is interesting, and I'm going to deploy this in this model and see how it works out. I'm going to do 25 minute chunks at a time in my learning and then I'm going to take um, five minute breaks. So I'll learn for 25 minutes and take a five minute break, reset the clock, do another 25 minutes and I'm going to do that twice a night and do for right now an hour total of studying and then go from there and see how that works out. Um, that's manageable, it's doable, um, because the text here also talks about not overdoing it for yourself, um, uh, not taking breaks, um, talks a lot about, um, that this isn't a race, it's a marathon, and that, um, embracing the suck as the military term, uh, coins it, um, um, they say, you know, something else, but I think of embracing the suck, but, um, going through that that hard time um, and taking the time out when you get stuck is important not only for breaks but that um, cycle time for rest and then it talks about things you can do when you go on your break and you know the obvious things of avoiding distractions and then it talks about going down rabbit holes um, which I'll have to keep 
myself ch in check with but um yeah so i don't want to make this overly long um but it's all about grit perseverance and uh, time management really is what it comes down to so um that's about it for this um this section here so a lot of stuff in here i really abbreviated it but um i don't want to belabor it or turn these um vlogs into really anything more than small snippets i'm sure as i get into coding and setting things up and getting my environment going working on projects these will become these videos will become a lot longer but for right now they'll stay nice and short so um but um here's a little article about the um the promodoro technique and um basically describes it uh, as it sounds a short pause three to five minutes basically set a timer for 25 minutes when it goes off take a five minute break um, and you can do that in cycles of four and then before you should stop for a while um, it says you can go longer if you're in the <clears throat> in the dev world because uh, sometimes especially when you're working on projects <clears throat> excuse me 25 minutes really isn't enough time to get through everything which is probably an accurate assessment but I think for right now for this capacity of my learning at this point 25 minutes is more than enough time and then there's some articles scattered through about um, some success stories uh, this this lady that that made it um, made it happen basically in five months which is insane for me but that's not my my roadmap I'm looking at maybe a year or so um, and this lady did it uh, this is a reddit article and she did it in a year basically or this guy I think did it in a year um, uh, it, it sounds like more like kind of like my path, but um, and they did it through the Odin project project actually and describes the process of it and it's good stuff. So, all right, I will end it here. Everyone have a great day and great evening and God bless and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.